happy birthday to you.
I'm back. I'm here. Don't worry. Not late. Wouldn't it be messed up if sperm cells had little legs like ants and you could feel them crawling around in there? Yeah, that would probably be pretty messed up. Thanks, Mothman. Pure shuffle, by the way. I did not queue up this song after this fire. By the way, song question mark. That was this fire by Franz Ferdinand. And also the Sore Feet song by Ali Care. Is it Ali or Ally? I have no idea. It's the Mushishi opening. And then uh, the first one was Sleepyhead by Passion Pit. Yeah, my now playing thing broke at some point. Sad. Trying to go to sleep, but you want to watch Aliens? Well, that's too bad. This one's for all the Europeans who already woke up. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me boot the game up. Yeah, this fire. A lot of Fs. Fire. Uh, yoink. Sleep schedule's been this bad for a while. Damn. Yo, you missed it in DS9 tonight. We got to see drunk Julian Bashir and scruffy Mirror Universe Julian Bashir. Missing out. Damn, DS9 is good. This website is so America-centric. I mean, that's kind of how I carved my niche out in RTVS, because I was the only one... Oops. I just clicked on the Discord button. No, I do not want to join the Discord. Yeah, I, uh... Like, whenever RTVS first started up, I was the only one who lived in Europe, so I was able to cut my little slice of the cake, being the only person who streams at non-America-centric hours. That's mean to say that. <laughs> Alrighty. Who did that? Mira, I curse you the next time you come on the ground outside it'll take root and grow into a and he'll attack you with weapons. The next time I what? Are you insinuating that I do that? Cause that's not true. Get this gay woke music out of here. Fuck off. Where's my game? There's my game. Alas, my pizza rolls are too hot to eat. So I will simply wait. I still got the cigarette in my mouth. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Let's figure out what was going on the last time I was here. I remember getting a scary virus. Um, is that the only thing I remember from last time? There was the meat camera, but I feel like that was two times ago now. Was the scary virus the only major thing that happened last time? That's all I can remember. Combination or one of the bad ones. One of the bad ones that has way too much cheese and not enough meat. Just my IMO. If I could get pizza rolls that were just sauce and meat with zero of that spongy ass cube cheese in there, I would be very happy. Oh, the exploding drives, right. That was a new one. Ah. No, I did not do the daily task yet, and it's 9 a.m., so got it. IWF. Thanks for the ping, Mothman. Very constructive. So we're going to do FIW. Let's get this yawn loading first. Sorry for the incoming paragraph, but you sometimes put on Star Trek on your TV to go to sleep. A few days ago, you put on DS9 for funsies. You saw these two girls having tension. You're like, whoa, this feels like something's going on here. And then it was actually a thing. And you were like, whoa. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, Deep Space Nine had the third ever lesbian kiss on television. Kind of, uh, woke and disgusting, if you ask me. Why would they subject children to that? That's kind of disturbing, and this isn't a show about politics. This is a show about white people going into space. Damn, nailed that one. This is a show about white people going into space and having sex with each other. I think literally episode two of The Next Generation is, oh no, there's a virus that makes everyone horny. And then like Data bangs, what's her face, that bitch that dies in the first season. Raz just popped a blood vessel somewhere. And Tasha Yar, that's her name. And Picard bangs Crusher, I think. Yeah, and then episode three of The Next Generation is, uh, they go to the racism planet. <laughs> Season one of The Next Generation is pretty rough. Shit, did I even change my target? Hold the phone. Yeah, when I say episode two, I'm counting Encounter of Farpoint parts one and two as one episode. I usually do that for two-parters, because, you know, it's to be continued. It's the same episode, it's just taking up two broadcasting slots. Uh, this is not the computer where I type things. Trying to watch Voyager? I'm so sorry to hear that. That Fox Trow is not a server. Fuck that thing. I tell you what. No, no, get back here. Come back. Come back. Stop. Sit. Thank you. Turn that thing back on when I get back. Otherwise, it's gonna run out the battery just running in circles. Wow, that was the wimpiest throw I've ever done. You're a kitty meowing outside, don't know if it's a stray or what, and you don't know if you should look for it or not. Sounds upset. I mean, it's either like a territorial dispute between neighborhood cats, or it could be like a mama cat. I remember when I lived in upstate New York, there was this neighborhood stray that would always go under our back shed to have babies. You'd hear the kittens meowing under there all through the winter. Poor little beasts. You pirated DS9 and didn't realize you started on season two. Wow, that's fucking impressive. Just going in zero context from the pilot, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, look at that. I wrote this down last time I played. Look at me. Thought it was just really well written. Yeah, it is. A couple stinkers here and there, but it's fantastic TV. I feel like when you don't know anything about Star Trek, you look at it from the outside and all you know of is, oh, hey, bud. All you know about Star Trek looking at it from the outside is like, you know, Patrick Stewart's bald ass and Kirk and Spock being yowie icons. I couldn't give a fuck less about Kirk and Spock. Fuck TOS. Can't handle it. I don't mean to sound like an average drooling brainlet online, but Jesus Christ, it's too slow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, TOS. It's like, you know in cartoons when something drags really slowly across the screen and it has like a sound effect of stone scraping on stone? That's what watching TOS is like to me. Zoomer, 
brain. I'm not that bad. Come on. I like Vinland Saga. I'm not going, dude, this is gay. Why is he a pacifist now? He was much cooler when he fought people. This is fucking gay. He's such a pussy. Luffy would beat this guy's ass. <laughs> you just looked up a list of the best episodes? Damn. What, for TOS? Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I think we were doing a revised watch list as well and my because you know the one time i ever saw it was when uh, we all synced our vcrs together in my discord server and we all counted down three two one and then pressed go and we all watched it at home on our vcrs together at the same time uh and wow i could not stand it <laughs> tos is so slow it's so aggressively like 60s i don't think i can Early TNG is a little rough, but it's at least charming. Like, you know, you know, you get the episode where Tasha Yar gets eaten by a slime man on the world's most basic ass planet set. And then as TNG evolves, they start using like matte paintings and stuff and they get really good at set design. And then DS9 takes that and it whoop, just slam dunks it. What's that? You came out of TNG and thought there's no way these motherfuckers could write a kid character good? Well, look no further than Jake Sisko. Love that guy. like a piece of trash. DS9 uses a matte painting for a hallway set. Yeah, the the illusion like hallway that keeps going. It's really good. I'm pretty sure they do that in TNG as well. But the sets in DS9 are just top notch. It just feels so lived in. Like I feel like that's a reason why I like it so much better than TNG at the end of the day is like the S9 feels very human, it feels very, like, flawed and mixed and good, whereas TNG just feels, like, extremely sterile. It's like, yeah, these guys are the best of the best, they're a bunch of smiling ass mo Like, Miles O'Brien is on TNG, but he's basically just a doorman for them. And then you put that man in DS9 and boom, Cole Meany knocks it out the fucking park. What show is the Picard video from? What? Come! That one? That's TNG. Unless you mean the, the Picard song, because that's also TNG. If Picard's in it, you can just assume it's from TNG. Except if it's Star Trek Picard, which we don't talk about, because that's... We don't talk about that one. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one. Should have set that to process while I was gone. Oh well. Hmm. You're least interested in approaching TNG? It's not as bad as I make it sound. I'm generally a lot more bitchy about TNG than I perhaps should be. I think it's just that DS9 has spoiled me. Like, like TNG has some pretty fucking good stuff in it. Don't get me wrong. And, you know, Pat Stew's great. Brent Spiner knocks it out of the park. But DS9 as a whole package is just... Mm, it's perfect. Uh, how much money do I have? Negative 13. Looking good. There's a reason Picard exists? Well, the reason Picard exists is that modern execs want to do nothing but just rehash old shit constantly. 
and they they got a bunch of people who don't understand Star Trek to write Star Trek. Oh, this one's big, huh? Oh, never mind. There we go. Wow, I'm surprised that hit. It's fun watching them move. Come on. Per good enough. Not perfect. Good enough. Good enough. That's too slow. Aha. Good enough. Okie doke. Let's send in the day's work. Bop. Bop. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I didn't finish my thought. Um, I feel like from the outside of Star Trek, all you think about is like, you know, Kirk and Spock and fucking, oh, I didn't put any drives in there. I just came out here with the goddamn sheet of paper. What am I doing? Bro. Anyways. Yeah, like that. And you think about like, oh, like shitty 60s sets and dudes in pajamas throwing rocks at a guy in a dinosaur costume for like an hour and a half. But then you sit down and you watch Deep Space Nine and then you're like, oh. It was just good TV. What the? Wait a minute, this is just TV that is good. What in the? TOS throwback of DS9 was fun. Yeah, that one's all right. It's really fun like cinematography wise. Cinematography. There's this website that I always bitch about how fucking stupid they are. Let's watch Star Trek.com. They have such bad Deep Space Nine opinions. The only Deep Space Nine episode that they have rated a 5 out of 5 is Trouble with Tribbles. The TOS throwback episode. That's it. That's the only one they rated a 5 out of 5. The Visitor? Oh, yeah, that's a 4 out of 5. I don't even think they got far enough in the show to watch Far Beyond the Stars. They never finished it. Ridiculous. Tom Foolery. Oh. You know, I never did find out what was up with that, um... In the old version of the map, there was that, like, basement that you could take a ladder down to. And there was, like, a doorway that was bricked off. Never learned if that was anything or not. People say Picard Season 3 is good, but you think that's just because the nostalgia baiting finally started working at them? I, I haven't seen a second of Picard Season 3. I've seen, like, trickles of Season 1 and Season 2 and cringed massively at how horrible it was. Haven't seen a lick of season three. All I know is, you know, they get Riker back. And it's like, oh, look, it's it's like TNG again. Haha, <laughs> but no. 
I'm not falling for that shit, dude. I have Quark, man. I don't need you. I have Avery Brooks, bro. I don't need you. You've listened to this recording in the early hours of the morning, and I swear I heard something dreadful behind that noise. Something otherworldly. That said, I haven't been sleeping very well, working extremely odd hours just to finish all of my tasks, so perhaps there's a more mundane explanation for this. Disturbing fine, but maybe it's nothing. I didn't send in a red signal on accident, did I? I sure hope I didn't. That's like the longest email subject I've ever seen. Season 2 was bad in really weird and fucked ways. Yeah, just really ham fiz Like, the entirety of Picard's Season 2 was like DS9's past tense. You know? DS9 did in a two-parter what Picard tried to do in an entire season. Happy Uzumaki Day? Oh yeah, that anime adaptation's coming out, huh? Like I've said in the past, I don't really give a fuck about horror, but hey, that's great for the people who are waiting for it. I know Wayne's been waiting for it. I keep trying to get him to watch Vinland Saga Season 2, but I think he's uninterested. I keep trying to get him to watch Kaiji as well, because I feel like he would fucking love Kaiji. But you know how it is with some people. You try to recommend them shit they would love and it makes them want it less. <laughs> You're surprised he has not watched Kaiji? Yeah, right? He would fucking love it. He, he would love Kaiji. It's great. Kaiji's awesome. What a show. Boy, howdy, is that comic still going. Regrettably. Yeah. If any data points you have are connected, MapleStory fans love Kaiji. <laughs> it's the gambling. Oh, it's like getting stuck on my shovel, sticking out of the wall. Let me get this guy out of here. Uh, not the best spot. <laughs> Whatever. Sloppy, but it'll do. Oh, I'm upgrading the whole sound. Have I not upgraded that one before? Oh, wait a minute. Seven of Nine's characterization, I'm gonna be real, I haven't seen any of the TNG movies or any of the TOS movies. So all of the shit about the Borg that's not just funny guys in weird suits, uh, completely miss it. The Borg do not have a queen in my brain. <laughs> They're just guys. <laughs> They're just a collective, like they were originally built. Roommate has been stuck on Fishman Island for months. Oh, that sucks. That's another thing too. I've been telling Wayne to get caught up. I, I think I talked about this on like the last Voices of the Void stream, but the fact that he hasn't been spoiled for some pretty major stuff, wild to me. Dude needs to get caught up. Yeah, what up, Latch, with the big five stream streak? Why does this matter? It's for parasocial points. Don't you feel closer to your favorite streamers now that you can tell them how many of their streams you've watched in a row? <laughs> you don't think the Borg are very good? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're all right. On a, from a very, like, surface level, they're all right, right? When you just need a big crazy villain for the show. Another reason why I love DS9, the the Cardassia Bajor conflict is amazing. The Cardassians make for fantastic antagonists. Gul Dukat, Garrick, Damar, 
They're written and played really well. And then, of course, you've got the Dominion, which are also done really well. Again, Damar, uh, Jeffrey Combs. They go crazy. Jeffrey Combs. Ooh, baby. Attention Bajoran workers. We watched that episode last week, I think. Civil Defense. That's a classic. What the? Dude. Trolling me. Stop it. They got Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, he plays multiple characters. Namely, a Ferengi IRS guy, basically. Brunt, FCA. And uh, a really gay and annoying space elf with the scariest looking blue eyes you've ever seen. Like, I think that blue eye, that people with blue eyes be like meme is about Jeffrey Combs as Wayun. It's so good. He looks great. And he murders the role. Not having a good time with these signals right now. They keep trolling me. It's just because I haven't invested in the uh, signal success rate modules. Because I'm being stingy and I'm saving up my points for... What have I been spending my points on? I think I bought a bunch of drives and a rack. Something like that. kind of alright with the Borg feeling like big evil guys, because that's kind of the point of why they were introduced. You know? I feel like the Romulans are very guilty of feeling like that as well. Like, across TNG and DS9, the Romulans are basically just annoying evil space elves. <laughs> you know? Hold up, I have so many points. What am I buying? Transformer stability is maxed. That's what I was buying. I could crank the sensor success rate a little more. The detector stuff, maybe? Get signals faster. Oh, baby. Yup. Well, now it's significantly outclassing download speed, so I'll need to upgrade that next. This is taking forever, bro. Am I even smoking that cigarette? No, I don't have a lighter. I think a lighter is like 300 points or some shit. How much is a lighter? 100 points. Yeah, that's too many. I'm not paying for that. I'll just eat the cigarette like God intended. Itchy. Didn't realize he was in DS9? Yeah. Yeah, he's great. And then you got, um, wasn't Andrew Robinson in, like, Hellraiser or something? He fucking kills his role. Garrick is amazing. Space's gayest lizard. Man, this new map is nice. What is that all the way out there? Is that my, my beautiful baby? Is that my robot son all the way off at Romeo hanging out with Dracula? Dracula's gonna get you, bro. <gasps> oh, well, the blood camera's gone. This guy's still here, though. You bet I can see my beautiful bouncing baby boy. You're so bad with phases, it took too long for you to recognize everyone in Far Beyond the Stars. I love Far Beyond the Stars. Oh, baby, what a sode. What is that, like season six? Damn. At least we get a real banger coming up soon. I think... 
I think next week we'll probably reach season four, which means, ooh, baby, Way of the Warrior, Worf is coming back, The Visitor, ooh, ooh, excite. Yeah, I need to crank my download speed. This is ridiculous. Maybe I should run a calibration check. Oh yeah, Juliet's really low. Oh wow, a lot of them are really... What the fuck? Is that why my download speed is so low? Did I not run the calibration after the virus hit? Maybe it got interrupted by a server being down. Ooh, you know what I should check while I'm here as well? Okay. Power's looking good. Is Worf the barrel guy? Yeah. Yeah, there's an episode in TNG where a barrel falls on Worf and it paralyzes him uh, from the waist down and you know he's he's a Klingon so he's all like oh I'm I'm a warrior and I must maintain my honor and blah 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 and all that shit so he finds out he's been paralyzed from the waist down so he turns to Riker and he's like Riker I need you to help me commit ritual suicide because I can't fight anymore like this and Riker's like no I will not help you kill yourself Sorry, pal. Get bent. And then I think the whole episode is Worf agonizing while trying to convince Riker to kill him. And then I think at the end, they're just like, hey, it turns out Klingons just have two of everything. He's fine. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's totally fine. Turns out the Klingons just have like two of everything in their body. So they're just, he's just fine. He'll just use his second spinal cord. <laughs> what an ass pull. <laughs> DS9 has the balls to make a character get injured and then stay disabled. We'll get to that in much later seasons. Those of you who are watching along at home. Technically, Worf does die. Okay, yeah, he dies on the operating table, and then he comes back to life because his second set of organs kick in. <laughs> Such an ass pull. When O'Brien pulls his shoulder, he can never do darts again. Yup. That's definitely who I meant. <laughs> Dude, can you chill out here? Uh oh. What happens to the first set? It's not like literally he has... Klingons have like two sets of organs or something. I don't remember what it is, but it's something along those lines. I think it's supposed to be some like biological explanation as to why they became such a... war-focused society because they're good at surviving dangerous situations like that. I don't know. That episode's kind of an asshole. It's it's mostly funny because a barrel hits Worf. Something about a doctor wanting to carry out an experimental surgery on him. Oh yeah, there was that aspect to it, huh? Some doctor wanted to shoot him up with bath salts or something. No, oh, trust me guys, it really works. Oh, you can tell the barrel is light and empty from its bounce. Yeah, it's the best. It's so good. Yep, there it is. I forgot that I... Wait, do I have that emote or is that Wayne's? Yeah, that's mine. I still can't believe they got rid of Gowron. 
I miss my Gowron emote. Free my boy. Greatest Chancellor of the Klingon High Council. That's my guy right there. They should bury engineers in the warp core. I'm pretty sure they have funerals on ships like that by shooting them out of the torpedo bays into space. Glad we still have that one though. Yeah, that's, yeah. We still have that one, but Gowron's not allowed. Gowron's amazing, yeah, I love him. That shit that he does with his eyes. Literally just always bug-eyed, never fucking blinks on camera. Amazing performance. Dude kills it. When did they get rid of the dragon car emote? The same time they got rid of all my other ones. It's probably like a month or two ago at this point. Two mo month and a half? I don't know, something like that. God damn it. God damn it. Wow, this one's touchy. I don't have any filter size upgrades, so that's probably why. Hang on, I forgot about these pizza rolls. I gotta... Mm. Yeah, I just hate the cheese in these things. It's like... I don't quite know what word to use for it, but I want to say, like, grisly. I thought that one was corrupt for a sec. What was that? Did you hear that? God, the window's a fucking mess. sounded like a little squeak. It might have been my cats doing something that I heard through my headphones or something. I don't even think it's real cheese. I mean, yeah, it's some frozen bullshit. I would just rather the cheese not be in there. Just give me the sauce and give me the meat and the bread. Spare me the gristly ass, sandy ass cheese. No, I wish they had Windex. See, what I can do is, you see this sponge? I can take like this, and I can do like this. And that's how long it took to clear this one circle right here. And it gets dirty every day. the worst. So I'm just simply going to not bother. I'm telling you, I'm hearing something in game. Hang on, I'm taking my your phone off. Hmm. 
No, not a hum. That's just the ambient noise. That's, like, always going on. It's like a very intermittent, very distant, like, high-pitched squeak kind of sound. Oh! I don't think it's to do with the radar console, but it sounds like it's coming from that general direction. You don't hear that, really? There it was. There it was. It almost sounds like a, um, an old alarm clock. Like an old digital alarm clock. I think it might just be like a Doppler effect kind of thing happening with the radar computer. Like a wire spring? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Kind of sounded like that. But it's really quiet. Like, I can barely hear it myself. I don't blame you people for not being able to. Should turn my volume up really high? Wow, you're right. I would love to scream so loud I wake up the entire neighborhood when something scares the shit out of me. That sounds like such a blast. <laughs> Thinking my cigarette is a doom shotgun? Maybe it is. Huh? Maybe the aliens show up and I fucking shoot them. How about that? That's a really big one. It's either fake or something cool. Hmm? I kind of wish there was a signal that when you scan it and acquire it like this, rather than you having to move your cursor to it, it starts chasing your current settings. And you have to sit here and it's like a malicious signal. You can easily tell from whatever's on the screen and I don't know, maybe something else is happening. And it actively chases what your settings are on and you have to like scramble to move the fucking dials away from it. That would be pretty cool. Unknowns aren't always something weird, but it was a really strong unknown signal, so... We'll see. Let's see what's going on with this one. Jack and shit. Apparently. Unless it gets really noisy at the end. Wind. Yeah, okay. Spectrogram's good? Oh yeah, I have one of those, don't I? That's what don't know. Oh! Oh! It's this one. This is fine. This is normal.
Yep. Just some blue stuff. And also my power went off. Yeah, Archmage, that's, uh, that's civil defense. From season three. It's so good when Ducat shows up and he's being all smug and smarmy, like, ah, uh, you fucking dipshits, you set off the worker revolt program on my old station. Yeah, that's right, you stupid sons of bitches. Ha ha ha. I'm the best. And then he tries to leave. I love the, like, FMV cutscenes in that episode, they're so good. He tries to leave, and then immediately on the screen, a new FMV cutscene. Ducat, if you're hearing this message, it means you tried to abandon your post amidst a worker revolt. <laughs> so good. Oh, look what I left open. The gamer lights are cool, but you don't like that they show up on your radar. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Sorry, I thought I heard footsteps for a second, but I don't... I don't think I did. I think that was just my brain lying. And I will choose to continue believing that. Bedtime. I really need to start locking the door. Oh. Okay. Is it just that my food's too low? Yep. No aliens that come inside the base. Shut the fuck up, bitch! I don't want to hear that! Unless, of course, you're joking. Aliens have come inside the base. They've done that. They've done that. But it's only the nice invisible ones. I haven't seen anything mean come inside yet. Is that what's on the window? Yeah. That's what they're doing every night. Every night. Has the orb tried going through the door? I'm pretty sure the orb has come inside at one point. I may have just been seeing its light come in through the, uh, the big glass window. But I believe it tried to get inside at least once. Because I was hiding from it in lockers. The orb went through the vents. Yeah. Yeah. There you have it. Oops. Whatever. Well, that signal was kind of nothing. As huge as it was, and all unknowns. Hope one time a mannequin is staring at you when you wake up. That is an event. Um, they spawn a bunch of mannequins outside the base looking in at you through the windows. I think that's before they start moving, too. May not be a similar event implemented on the new map. There we 
go. The mannequins are much less rampant than they used to be on my first playthrough. Like, I think it was bugged. Because there would be like four of them walking at me at all times. Doing their weeping angels shit. Oh, hey, another triple unknown. Three level threes, Mike Foxtrot Sierra, SFM. Uh, SFM. I guess we'll do MFS. Mike Foxtrot Sierra. And I'll just go do it. Wait. Nah, fuck it. Get to work, you. Oh, hey, bud. Wood chipper really. Oh, hey, there's two. Wood chipper really changed the way you felt about the mannequins showing up. Ah, uh, they're harmless. Unless you light them on fire. Then they're not very harmless. Give me the hash. One, two, seven, D nine, O, F, one, seven, four. Head on over to Foxtrot. Whoa. Oh, that must be the campsite. I suppose I'll have to go check that out. Hell, I may even be heading out that way. Does anyone actually use their ATV in this game? Yeah, a lot of people were bitching at me to use it uh, the first time I streamed this new update. And then I think after a few hours of me just running around the entire... Like, I always hoof it in this game. I don't bother with the fucking car. That thing's gotten me killed more times than anything else, I think. And it can take damage, and you have to refuel it, and it's not even that fast. All it does is save you a bit of sleep. Which, to me, is not worth all the other drawbacks that it has. Can you buy a helmet? Yeah, you can buy a helmet now, but I think it's also like a thousand points. So. You just use the toilet all the time. I wish there were, I wish there was a shitter downstairs. I would use it more often if I didn't have to go all the way upstairs for it. Zero five F one A zero B D five seven. Wait a minute. Okay, no, never mind, we're good. And then Sierra is way that way, so while I'm over here, I'm gonna go investigate. No, I don't think you need to be gathering it and using it as fertilizer. This ain't Ark. I can go play Ark for that. I just want a shitter downstairs so that I can save on my stamina a little bit. That's all. Oh, wait a minute. Was that just the fucking... No. Look, it's much bigger and further. It is the same smoke effect, though. 
Damn, it's way out here. Hell yeah. The first playthrough when the base was smaller and only had the one floor, I was shitting nonstop. Damn. Well, that has nothing in it. This pot is new. I don't think they had a pot on here before. I feel like it was just the fire. I wonder if they still get mad at you. Another thing I like about bee hopping is while you're in the air and not making any footstep noises, you can more easily hear if someone's coming up behind you. if they just don't care or if I just haven't gotten far enough yet. Maybe they just don't care. Can you keep this lantern? Normally, no. Normally, they care about you stealing their shit, but... Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. My bad. Ouch. Stealing their stuff, they left it out. Whoa, Shh. smoilers, we got first timers. Come here, you. I know it's a show from uh, 20 years ago, <laughs> but we got first timers around here. Watch out. That's a whole four seasons away from where we are. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck Rick Berman, though. <laughs> That's a... Uh... That's a pretty easy uh, conclusion to draw. Fuck that guy. Good old Ricky B. Head back home. Rick who? That is Rick Berman. A producer on Star Trek. Exec. <clears throat> there have been uh, reports of his uh, shitty behavior towards female actresses. Good old Ricky B.
Give me the ranger shaker, private. Oh, you got some cheeks on you, huh? Shake that ass, ranger. Give me the rump shaker. Alright, that's good enough for Sergeant Major. Hua. Uh, take off that combat top and shake it. <laughs> so good. Oh, uh, that video is so good. Modern Warfare 2 unused voice lines? Oh, fuck. Ah, we're good. Classic Rick, one of our actors fainted because I had her wearing a cat suit that was so tight she couldn't turn her head in it, Berman. Yeah. Yeah. At the very least, for most of DS9's runtime, I'm pretty sure he was busy off making sure that Voyager sucked ass. And so, DS9 mostly gets away, like, without his wrath for a good six seasons. And then Ricky B comes back and he says, you know what? This shit's been going on too long. He dusts off season one Julian. <laughs> Brings him back. Oh, God. Not what I meant to do. No. Well, it's not red. It's a start. I will take it. Didgeridoo. These motherfuckers are putting a Minotaur card from their hand into play without paying its mana cost. Wait a minute. I've already upgraded this. Oh! Hey! What was that? That might have just... That might have just been me handling that tape. I don't know, that's a big one. So cool, this base to have a disability parking spot, but no ramp. Fake woke, you hate to see it. Oh, that's pretty cool, Earth Crisis actor. It's a shame most of them are probably teenagers and or obnoxious. Can I throw a rock at that vent? No, I'm good. I'll go get the stuff from the vent whenever the vent upstairs unlocks. Am I stoned? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Nice. Almost perfect. I'll take it. Dude, I really want some milk right now. I have to check if we have any good milk. I feel like we might have milk, but it might be old by now. Why do things gotta go bad? Why can't we have more preservatives in our food? 
sounds like heaven to me. Okay, now that I mentioned it, I'm like really craving a nice sip of milk. I think I might have to hit the pause button really quick. First of all, let's... Yeah, alright, I'm feeling that milk lust. I'll be right back. Real quick. All right, this milk's dated October. It should be fun. Should be fun. I love milk, dude. I don't get people who don't like drinking straight milk. It's so fucking good. The cow water is goddamn amazing. Oh, mm. I love that delicious cow juice. Anti Edward Elric, that guy's a pussy. Who doesn't like milk? It's good. It's yummy. Milk snack? I will stand by that. Milk is a snack. If this were a video game, milk would restore your hunger gauge, as well as your thirst gauge. It does both. Just trust me on this. Do I also like milk foods? Like what? So good. Norway milk's got added vitamin D so you don't die of darkness in the winter. That's great. Was it Norway or was it some other country that had a cheese crisis at some point? I gotta look this up now. I think I heard it on one of, uh... <clears throat> I heard it on one of Tom Scott's podcasts or something, I think. Uh, cheese crisis. Butter? Oh, it was butter. You're right. Norway with the butter. You're right. You're right. Yep. Life is a trip, Uncle Funkel. Shout out to Lateral. Nah, no, it was, um... God, what's the one he does with his friends? Technical Difficulties is the group name, but I don't remember... what the show was anymore. God, I'm stupid. Oh, well. Citation Needed. That was the show, I believe. That's a pretty damn alright little podcast to listen to. If you want to hear a bunch of English motherfuckers talk about stupid shit. 
Uh, yeah, one more signal to level three and that'll fill a box. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Sorry, I turned into a fucking transformer there for a second. What the hell? Yo, rest easy, Sterling. Wait a minute. It said I have to scroll up, but it won't let me scroll up any further. Huh? What? How are the signals up? I... Oh, is my W key just not working? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, my W key is just being funky. Got it. I thought I was hitting a border. Dude. Oh, it might be time for me to get a new keyboard at some point. The key woes have been stacking up in the past few months. I mean, I've literally had the same keyboard since, like, high school, so... It's been a pretty good run. One too many shots of vodka for the old keyboard. <laughs> I don't spill stuff on it that often. This is the same one I gave vodka to? Yes. Whoa. Oh, that's all the lights. We're good. Nothing scary, it's just the blue lights. You're on your second keyboard after destroying your first with tequila. See, I've spilled a lot of stuff on keyboards over my life, but I've never had it ruin a keyboard. You just set the keyboard sideways overnight, and it'll, like, drain out and evaporate, and then it'll mostly be fine. <laughs> Any update on the Silent Hill camera? Well, it's gone. If that counts as an update. It's not there anymore. It's not on my list. It's very possible that that one view of it was all that existed. Or it'll come back in a big way and scare the shit out of me at some point. Whichever. Who dat? Planet. Do I ever deep clean my boards? Of course I deep clean my keyboard every so often. Didn't realize that was a cigarette? Nah, yeah, that's my shotgun. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. Hang on, I might have to, like, pop this key off and see if there's anything under there spe specifically causing this. Oh, God, I don't have a specialized tool for this. <laughs> Uh, what could I use for, aha, here we are, do I have a VODs channel, yeah, I have an unofficial VODs channel on YouTube, I think I have a com, com, command, I have a command for it, somewhere, VOD or VODs, something like that, just look up my username on YouTube, you'll find it. There we go. Sorry, I'm just making sure my W key is clean because it's freaking out. Okie dokie. No more messing around, W key. Ain't got time for it. Whoa. Well, it's got something in there. Yoink. 
Your spoke's stupid right now. You hope nothing scary happens. Nothing scary happens in this game. Just relaxing. Doing my job. It's like Space Station. Same exact game. The government doesn't want you to know that isopropyl alcohol and vodka are the same thing. You're right. I should clean my bong with vodka. This will be much more cost efficient. Whoa. Well, this one was like right on the money. Come on, you. Act close enough. Forgot Space Station 14 was able to be played. Yeah, we have a server for it in my Discord server. Imp Station. We're, uh... Nice little... Gatekeeping-ass <laughs> community. Some people on the server like to record rounds and edit them down for YouTube videos. And uh, because we're like a private unlisted server and we don't really want random fucking annoying stoners coming in and playing the game wrong. Uh, not like, you know, being bad at it, like being a douchebag at it. Uh, some people in the comments of the videos people post will be like, hey, what's the server? What's the server? Hey, uh, what server are you playing on? Can I play on this server? And then they'll reply like, oh, no, yeah, it's kind of a private kind of deal. You know, we're not trying to give away too much about it because we don't want too many. And then people will be like, wow, wow, gatekeeping a space station server, sad. It's like, yeah, I think you are the exact kind of person that we don't want, if that's your response. We don't want the average 13 player joining. Yeah, exactly. Like there aren't plenty of other servers? Yeah, exactly. Like you see random YouTube comment stoner, the reason why the server looks so good and the reason why you want to join it is because we've kept it private. You see, correlation. The reason why it looks so good in that video you just watched? It's because we keep it private. Only non-community member you know is one person who got invited through Grinder. I mean, we have a ton of people who, you know, come onto the server just by word of mouth. But the person getting conscripted on Grinder, that's got to be the best one so far. Fucking amazing. OMG, what? Yeah, yeah. There's somebody on the space station server who. Had had never played Space Station before. They have no fucking idea who I am. They didn't even know that the server was like streamer affiliated. Just someone they were talking to on Grinder told them about the game and the server, and they joined. <laughs> so good. You want to get into Space Station, but you're hella paranoid about being shit and wrecking the experience for people. Well. The only way people are shit and wreck the experience for people is usually intentional. If you're just clueless, you're not going to do anything crazy. And if you do, the worst that'll happen is you'll hear a little boink, and I'll be in your DM saying, dude, what was that? What are you doing? <laughs> That's the worst it'll be. If you come in and you're new and you just ask questions, there's trainee roles for every department. You just pick a trainee role, you find somebody else in your department, especially the department head, you tell them, hey, I'm new, what the fuck am I doing here? They'll hold your hand. We're nice here. Like, legitimately, the worst thing your cluelessness could do is uh, you loose the engine if you're playing engineering. That's the worst thing you could do. Or you pick security and are just really... Like, you don't read space law at all. 
that part wouldn't work very well either. But people making mistakes is part of the secret sauce that makes that game good. And then, yeah, like I said, the tutorialization is both. There is just good tutorialization in-game, and the tutorialization is baked into the game because it's a role-playing game. You can just talk to the other people in your department or talk to the other people on the station, and, like, they'll walk you through it in character, you know? The fun episodes of Star Trek is when things go wrong. Yeah, exactly. HD audio. Hey, all right. Whoa. You assume if a round is too quiet, that's when I hop on admin powers and start throwing grenades? Yeah, pretty much. I like to shake the ant nest from time to time. Last night, I, um, I said last night, but it was today. Hang on, let me find a screenshot. There's this funny little spider on the server named Theorem Dispar, who is, uh, infamous for being a troublemaker. He's usually a frequent flyer ha needing to have uh, conversations with security. Um, in a shift today, he stole a bunch of steel from security and I was just observing just messing around looking for something to have fun with stole a bunch of steel from security and kept lying about it so every time he lied it I kept making him smaller like you can see the size of a normal per normal person up there and then there's theorem as I started shrinking him every time he lied I would scale his model to 0.9 size um and eventually, oh, Puro's uh, chat message is kind of covering him up here. But, like, you see how tiny he is right there behind Puro's message? <laughs> Fucking four members of security surrounding him. I made him super small, and then I also made it so you could pick him up like an item. So they started picking him up and putting them in, his ba in their bag to bring him the sec. They kept trying to arrest him, and they would put the cuffs on him, but I would rejuvenate him. Because, like, he's too small, the cuffs fell off. Uh, and then he kept shrinking. In this image, this is the smallest he got. Uh, you'll see Wisteria there. Uh, but if you look in that red circle, uh, right there next to the airlock, do you see those, like, two white pixels? Hang on, let me get in a... Scooch in a little close. You see those, like, two white pixels to the left of the airlock? <laughs> That's how small I made Theorem. Uh, that was the smallest he got. The next lie he told after that, I uh, uh, instantly killed him and reduced him to a pile of organs and blood and then replaced him with a sentient corn cob that I gave the player control over. I think he was giving a speech at his own funeral as the corn cob. And then I took over playing as the... Uh, as Hamlet, the captain's pet hamster, and I just walked right into the funeral and I ate the corn cob mid sentence. Son of a. This game just lets you be corn cob? Well, with admin powers, I can let people do just about almost anything. But in the base game, yeah, you could, like, I don't know, you could get, like, a sentient hydroponics tray. Or, I don't know, a sentient vending machine. There's literally a chemical that uh, the medical department can develop called, called Cognizine. If you inject five units of Cognizine into any living being, it will become sentient. And it will become a ghost role. A ghost role is a player that has died or is just observing. 
can then jump into a ghost roll. So like you died, blah, blah, blah. You've been watching for a little bit. Oh, hey, there's a ghost roll open for a sentient monkey. Yeah, sure, I'll play that. Why not? Space Station's really cool. Super good game. You gotta look into getting this. It is free and it is on Steam. Space Station 14. Is the syringe gun in 14? Nah. Nah, medbay is pretty undercooked in 14 in general. We've been waiting on what we call new med for a long time. Like, we don't have surgery or, like, body part specific injuries or amputations, any of that stuff. Medbay right now is basically just the chemist makes the chemicals and then when people come in, you pick the right color and you put it into them. No diseases either, yeah. That's another thing we don't have. No virology. No virology, no genetics, no surgery. No xenobiology. I think xenobiology is on the way, though. Is salvage still fucked? Ah, it's okay. It's been a minute since they've pushed a PR that, like, actually changes salvage. It's been a couple weeks, I feel like. Kind of stagnated progress on that. Yeah, that's hella underbaked. Personally, I'm very excited for it. Because it means that our medbay people have been playing with, like, the Fisher-Price version of medbay. And when real med hits, it's gonna it's gonna be like a paradigm shift. I feel like injuries are going to become a lot more serious when real med bay comes along. Nice. It'll also be a great boon for um uh, roboticism, roboticism, robotics enjoyers, uh, cause then they'll be able to make, like, cybernetic limbs for people and stuff. Damn. Oh! It just disappeared. Oh, it went in there. That's not where I put it, I put it in here. There we go. Never trust a roboticist. They're always antags. And it's always extremely obvious when they have a Borg that's literally just tailing them the entire shift. It's like, I know what you are. You're not sneaky. <laughs> that Borg is following you around like, Duh, yes, boss. Need more download speed badly. Processing speed wouldn't hurt either because it's pretty obvious I'm getting bottlenecked here. Gave them the hired goon voice module. I mean, that could be a real thing. <laughs> we could add that probably. Emagging two Borgs and making them act like Scratch and Grounder? Yeah, that's good. The guy complaining he got in trouble for Borging random people as a non-antag? Yeah... It happens. Oh, that's my car. I was like, what's that green blip? It's just my car. Don't know what that is. You get some real specimens on the... 
How do you board people without surgery or delimbing? Um, <clears throat> well, when they're dead, you take a blunt object and you beat them to death until it until until they jib, and then they will turn into a pile of organs, and their brain falls out, and you put that into a robot. The end. <laughs> Hello? Are they throwing bug bait at me again? Chimon. Grow up. Man, I'm getting a lot of unknowns of late, huh? Whoa. Extremely HD bug scaring the shit out of me. I kinda don't like this blue overhead lighting. No. Oh no, you need to charge. Turn back off. Give me that. Give. Oh, did I grab it specifically by the ball? Huh. Oh yeah, you can grab it specifically by the ball. That's weird. Uh oh, sisters. Weather notification. Oh, rain stopping soon. Damn. I wish it was rain continuing soon. You don't know this game is bur you don't know this game is burgers just appearing normal. It's uh hallucinating when you're hungry. Is that thing inspired by Kerfus? Yes. Yes it is. So much so that they had to change the name in game. Because uh I think they might have uh, gotten a C and D, perhaps. Reminded me of that comment someone left on one of my vods of them complaining about getting into Space Station 14 and then getting banned from three different servers. Yeah, it's like, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I harped on about this exact topic on the last stream, but. I love that exact kind of guy. What is wrong with these Nazi mods? I've been banned from so many community servers, and I just don't get it. It's these Nazi mods. Fucking tyrants. Just trying to abuse power. And like, hold their regime, bro. They're so tox. Sick of it. You got the wrong door, bud. League of Legends is three blocks down. It's your favorite crime in Space Station 14? Uh... Depends on the character, usually. But probably mostly trespassing. Like, on my mime that I've been going hard on, she loves, uh... No innuendo intended with hard on there. She loves, uh... Breaking into especially very secure locations, but only to do incredibly innocuous shit. Hang on, I have a screenshot? Let me see. Let me see if I can find this screenshot. Oh, come on, screenshots folder. It shouldn't be that old. Dude, I just don't see it. Hang on, it might be a little older than I think. Is it before I played UFO 50? No. Hello? Am I stupid? Am I looking at the wrong folder? No, I'm not looking at the wrong folder. Am I stupid? Is she stupid? Hold the phone. Dude, where's my... Uh, there it is. I found it. So, I was playing my mime this shift. Uh, and me and the clown, name of Jerem Lee, uh, traded PDAs at some point in Mainz. Uh, just because, you know... You're a, I'm a mime, you're a clown. Let's trade PDAs, why not? 
This won't confuse anyone. So on this shift, uh, I kept hiding inside the captain's pet hamster's uh, hamster enclosure because for whatever reason, people can fit inside there. So I kept breaking into the bridge and hiding inside the hamster cage. And while I was hiding inside the hamster cage, my own death was reported on green comms. Reporting from the mysterious rune and pile of organs. I've got a brain and the PDA of Silencieux Oubliette. I don't know how to speak French. That's the best I got. But that's my mind. So it's really funny hearing my own death reported on comms while I'm hiding in a fucking... Hiding in a hamster cage. The captain caught me at one point, too. She was pissed. Yeah, I love hiding in Hamlet's cage. People just don't think to check there. Surely somebody wouldn't fit inside the hamster enclosure, right? Wrong. I don't have a signal yet. I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting here spinning the dials when the fucking dishes haven't locked on yet. Genius. That death loop that you and Kasi got stuck in was great. Yeah. Uh one shift I I went to disposals and I rerouted it so that disposals the disposals pipe looped back into itself. So anything you put into disposals would then just at the very end where it's supposed to go into the recycler would just get stuck in a loop of constantly going in a circle in like a 3x3 three three tile area. It was super fucking loud and annoying. And the best part was people jumped into disposals. <laughs> I start hearing someone complain on comms. Help, I... <laughs> Help, I jumped in disposals and now I'm stuck. And at that point, I had jumped in, too, because my mime, the thing I love doing with my mime is just dying somewhere in some stupid or strange way. And it's like it's like dying in a glue trap somewhere, and then someone finds me. It's just the ultimate humor to me. So I was already in the disposals tube, actually, because I remember a slime beat the shit out of me, and I had to go to medbay and get treated. And then instead of exiting medbay normally, I jumped in the trash can. Which then got me stuck in the disposals loop. I ended up going crit because you can't breathe in there. And the whole time there's someone in there with me screaming like, Fuck, I jumped into disposals and I can't get out. I'm stuck. Some Please, engineers, come get me. And then the captain heard these cries and also jumped into disposals. <laughs> Someone's stuck in disposals. J jumps immediately into disposals. Scrooge McDuck style, hands together. Wait. <laughs> So then the captain was also stuck in disposals. Like three engineers and a salvager showed up. And it was a ramping station event scheduler shift. So a bunch of vent critters were spawning. I think there was like two space adders or some shit. At some point I flushed a tarantula down disposals just because it was funny. The salvager turned out to have a kill goal on one of the engineers. So all this crazy shit going down in disposals was perfect for them. They just stood aside while these monsters were fighting everybody. And eventually they were the only one left standing. They grabbed their kill target, dragged them outside the station, and left them on the solar array. So good. <clears throat> disposals diving never dies except on servers where it kills you. That's exactly why I like playing with disposals so much. On both my clown and my mime, I'm always fucking with disposals. I love emagging the recycler too. Just turning off its safety and letting it mulch anybody who touches it. It's so perfect. People are too comfortable jumping into the station's waste recycling system. It's people like me that need to make it dangerous sometimes so that they think twice about doing that.
People shouldn't be jumping into disposals. It's nasty in there. It's nasty in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mostly better. If they're all up, then I'll... Oh, okay, Echo's down. Well, I'll just wait for the little robot to finish. Robot. First time you joined the server, a friend of yours also joined and took the role of a hungry mouse and just kept trying to eat your... Kept running into your kitchen to eat your meals. Classic. What are you do? Oh, it's cable is still out. Bro, stop, 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 stop. I wait. Wait. Come back, please. Please. Wait, dude, you're gonna get stuck. There. Go get him. Jesus. Who that? Thought I heard a mannequin. Thinking about the shift where three different Sekoffs independently walked right into an Emag recycler, I think that was mine. <laughs> Unless you're talking about a different shift, I've absolutely had a Gunther shift where I Emagged disposals, turned it on, turned the conveyor belts on, and then got rid of the lever. Or no, 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 I didn't get rid of the lever, but I was fighting with one Sekoff for it while another Sekoff was on the conveyor belts trying to arrest me. And it's like, what do you do if you stun me while I'm on the conveyor belt? I'm just going to go into the recycler and you're going to kill me. You're going to be responsible for my death. <laughs> That's a crime. You can't do that. <laughs> and then I was slipping the... Bro? What? Duh. What? <laughs> I've never had one of them kill me before. What the fuck? Not enough shrimp? What's the problem, bro? I... Wow, that autosave was so far behind, too. Dude, it's not that far behind. It's still the same day. <clears throat> oh, you need to charge. I've never had them just flat out kill me like that still mad about the lantern yeah like how it happened right after I specifically went out of my way to lock my doors yeah fine I'll leave him unlocked this time bro sheesh Jeez Louise. 
trying to order some shrimps ahead of time. Wait, I didn't call the drone. Surprised they just punched me to death? Well... In previous situations where I've had that particular event, they're usually not so completely outwardly violent. They're usually chill, and like they just throw shit at you as a prank. They're just doing a bit. A skit, if you will. But, um... That time they decided to just fucking murder me. Then again, I've never had them drop in through the vent and then throw the vent at me. That was also new. Whatever, it works. <laughs> Gonna fucking save now. That event is the one that made you make a noise so loud your brother had to check on you. <laughs> awesome. They're mad that I still haven't smoked that cig. Well, they can fucking get bent about it, bro. Not my problem. Mmm. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's very quickly order some shrimp to appease them. Because they love their shrimp. What else will I order? I have so much money. I'm just going to spend it on upgrades like I did last time. I think I'll do like that, and then like that. And then I have 20? I'll just save them. It could be an energy drink. I do want to get uh, rechargeable batteries though, I think. Even if it's not like the most cost effective thing ever. I'd like to get rechargeable batteries. You don't normally make loud noises at the computer? Oh, I can't relate. Making loud noises at the computer is my job description. my shrimp. Oh, I already had shrimp on me. Whatever. Seriously, are they are they supposed to be doing the once in a lifetime walk on purpose? Or does it just look like that? Well, well, well. Unknown. Hang on. Gotta bust out the hoover on him. You may not like it, but this is what peak efficiency looks like. Much more effective than picking them all up by hand.
started doing that with trash in the trash can. Yeah, I used to do that as well, but they made the trash can a lot heavier in this most recent patch, so it makes it a lot more unwieldy. Hello. Yeah, see, you can like barely lift this thing now. It's like on a delay. I mean, you could lift it, it's just a bit of a pain compared to what it once was. Imagine having the wood chipper for this. Just right into it. Sorry, I'm just gonna be busting out the manual saves often because I don't want that thing showing up and murdering me again. At the very least, I want to reduce the amount of time lost when it does happen. There we go. Have I tried crafting in this run? Nah. I've been ignoring it. As per usual. Wrong. Whoa there. Loud. Uh. Yeah, that's a noise. Yo, this game got crafting? Uh, barely. Last I saw it, it was a very experimental feature still. They probably expanded upon it a bit. The picture? What about it? Oh. Leggy. Yeah, okay. Well, my son is out there fucking the curb again. Just going postal on it. That boy ain't right, you're telling me. My dad doesn't like King- whoa. Okay. Well. Can I talk now, game? Are we chill? Oh, okay. The autosave. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my dad doesn't like King of the Hill because he can't stand Bobby. Bobby weirds him out. <laughs> Truly, that boy ain't right. That was a new one. I don't think I've seen that one before. Whatever that was. Only just noticed the text above the window. Yeah, that's been there. Pretty sure that might have been at the old base as well. Though I might be mistaken about that one. Let me save. Again. 
and let me go let my son in. Because it's definitely my son and not the scary Dracula that just made that sound. What's up? God damn it, you idiot. Broke my alien light. Fucking. Go to bed. Go to bed. Good enough. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it'll do. Clean my windows, dirty girl. I'm too lazy. They get dirty too fast. I have no interest in it. I could maybe buy something to help with it, but I'm too busy buying other stuff. Maybe eventually when I run out of shit to buy, I'll clean the fucking windows. Seriously, man, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had them kill me. Dude just walked in and threw a vent at my head. What's a bitch to do? If a scary guy appear, how will I see it? What, out the window? I won't. That's the beauty of it. B and E gone wrong. <laughs> My son, the drone, it cometh. Bringing me a big MRE because I didn't order shit. Oh jeez, it is 5.30 a.m., huh? Wow. My poor sleep schedule. She was normal for like a week. Oh, hello. Yes. The lighting looks extra color bandy. Huh. Probably just making it up. Uh, what's the BQI? So B is gonna be inner. And then... Oh, that's not so bad. Bic lighter. Now that's pretty sucks. I don't think this battery even, yep. I will now be purchasing more battery. Uh, one more battery, because it costs all of my money. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rechargeable batteries next paycheck. If it's big enough anyways. There we go. Good enough. I love e-waste, you're damn right I do. Sending it to join all the car batteries in the ocean. Whoa.
I suppose I'll wait until morning to go get my <laughs> battery. Wow, that is one hell of a first time chat. That's my answer to that question. <laughs> Is what randos in deadlock will say to you the only time I've seen people interacting in deadlock is uh back when the HTML bug was in and you could just put items in the chat or not items images so Wayne was just like spamming subway ads in the in-game chat really good Did I get to watch the Family Feud show in Space Station 14 earlier? What? Did they do trivia ops again? Because I was there the first time they did trivia ops. I was the quiz master. But... If they did it again, then no. I wasn't there for the second time. Steve RV, that's good. That's pretty good. On cruise? Nah. Nah, definitely wasn't there if it was cruise. Had a hop named Steve RV who pulled the station on topics and hosted a family feud. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll give it up. I feel like this is the exact signal I was looking at when the invisible bastard came and threw stuff at me. Fucking hate crime, dude. Wanna ask how one joined the space station server? Someone posted the fucking address for it earlier. Just go onto the space station 14 uh, server browser and punch in the IP address impstation.gay. All there is to it. It's getting a little, uh, foggy outside, huh? I'm sure it's fine. Wow, Twitch caught that one, Mothman. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, sleepy. Ah, that's not close enough. That's nothing. That's nothing. Come on now. Yeah, maybe I should crank processing speed, huh? Rechargeable batteries, and then processing speed. You're gonna get me banned, Mothman. Stop it. Stop. Like,
like Lauren always says. Yeah, Pepper, the reflection in the window keeps getting me too. Hello? Aha! Ooh. Yeah, look at that glow on the drives. Yeah, it's a little foggy. Oh, wow, look at that. See that? Um, um, graphical bug detected. Ding. Oh, geez, I'm hungry again. Still have plenty of MREs. Oh, and I have batteries in here, too. Are these real batteries? Are they actually charged, or are they... Oops. Are they old? Okay, well, that one's old. That one's good. Cool. Wait. Colby. Colby. Oh, that one was actually kind of close. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Colby. Oh. Well, I almost hit the bank shot. First try, baby. That'll do. That's done. Come on. Weak. Your crickets are weak. Where am I going again today? BQI, yeah. I was gonna do it, BIQ, yup. Yup, my meat pig is doomed. Bravo, India, Quebec. Oh, Hatman is here? Where? my left apparently I don't see him I feel like it's been so long since I've seen the eyeballs maybe you just have to be on super super low sleep like you get the viewport drifting thing but the eyeballs don't actually show up until you're like really low on sleep sub 5 maybe sub 10 maybe either way I'm gonna finish up this signal and then go to bed yoink Yoink. Okay, that works. Play this real quick. Okay. And let's go to bed. Oof.
think you saw them too. I didn't see shit. And I wasn't sticking around to find out. Oh, hello. Oh, it's this one. God damn it. Does the compass point at it, maybe? No, I think I've tried that before. I really do think you just have to go out to the edge of the map and then run around until you see the door. At least I still have my cigarette in my dreams. <laughs> oh, hello. Yoink. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's a sleeping bag. It's a rolled up sleeping bag. That's why I sleep in a cylinder. It's this one. Hey, bud. Come here. Oh, oh. Oh. Come, Vegeta. Automod held a message for reasons, sex-based terms. Highlighted phrase, Jack off. Why no Jack on? Hmm? Let's deal with that. Why no White Panther? <laughs> that Rocco video is so good. A true classic. Okie doke. Out we go now. I have to go get some hashes. Yeah. And how are you looking? Anything? No? Okay. Not what I wanted. I wanted to chuck you back in the corner. Wait. Why do I chuck my boy so? In Richmond. Watch. It's like that. You know? Enrichment for who? For me or for him? Uh, both. Yes. I haven't been to X-Ray in a while. I hope Maxwell is still okay. I hope he hasn't been eaten by bugs. I guess I can find out. Maxwell's currently active. He's fine. Bravo. 0104-8C5605. Oh, 
keep catching Rosie eating bugs in the basement. PP was chasing a mouse at some point, like a few weeks ago. We'd kind of had the suspicion that she'd seen a mouse down here. Because she'd always, like, for a while, she'd hang out near, like, the fridge and the oven and, like, just stare at the gap under them. And then at one point, I heard a bunch of squeaking, and she had indeed actually caught it. And I think she was running over to give it to me as well, but then she lost it. I don't think she even heard it. I think she just had it by the scruff. Fucking goofy ass animals. But then she lost it on the way over to me and it scurried away. Got any opinions on the invisible cat girls in here? They sure exist. I like the one poster of them. That's in this game. Uh, no, none. don't target hash. SV target hash is me when I am going to the dispensary, am I right? <laughs> Let's go to Quebec. Do I want to fuck the aliens? No, not particularly. I like that one poster of them, but most other depictions of them I've seen, they're not very... Could have sworn I just heard shit. Maybe they heard me talking shit. So true, Mothman. You're scaring the hose. Can we rip this guy's limbs off? Can we beat this guy with hammers? One six three four one one four E four eight. Let's go to X ray and wait. I forgot you don't do the hyphen. Since we're near to X ray, let's go over there and pick up Maxwell and bring him home. Let's start turning our house into a home. Mothman is like cuck. Mothman is like if cuck sorry was real. Wow. Hey streamer. Um, I was just wondering how you felt about the aliens. Uh -huh. Do you think that we I mean uh do you think uh. that slash this <laughs> slash are cool and you're cute? Do you think that? Yeah, no, maybe. They're okay. Like to share a shrimp with I would absolutely, I would share a shrimp with anyone. I love shrimp. I think the next time I buy shrimp, actually, I think I have some in my freezer, but I think I'm gonna fry it rather than grill it this time. What up, big man? My man. Is Cuck sorry that post about the person who RP'd as the green alien from Futurama? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
No, Kuxari is a character on uh, spa on our space station server. He's a lawyer that is generally not very good at being a lawyer. And more often than not, does some freak shit. I think at one point, Kuxari was being tried for something. Like, he was an Antag, and he got caught doing Antag shit, and Sek caught him, so he started a court case over it. But he was the only lawyer on the station. There were no other lawyers. I was the judge. I was Yum Yum, doing my judge thing. And because there was no other lawyer, I cloned Kuxari. Uh, just on the spot, I made a new one and put it up as a ghost roll for somebody else to take control of. And instantly, the real Kuxari pivoted into trying to trick the entire audience that he was the one that got summoned as a lawyer, and the one that got summoned is the client getting in trouble for the crimes. And I'm pretty sure as soon as he started doing that, he's like, yeah, so basically my client is guilty as fuck. Also, the clone was naked. Because when I cloned them, it didn't copy over the clothes. So his pussy was out on the court. It, it just happens. A bit too frequently, perhaps. Uh, with Cuck, sorry. Did they send me a fake bug? Is this bug real? No, it's a real bug. It's just dead. Okay. Let's get you inside. Why are there two of me? There shouldn't even be one of me. Yeah, great line. Great line. No, the dwarf kid, first of all, I don't think they're supposed to be a dwarf. I think they're just using the dwarf to play as a kid. Johnny Chestnuts. And I went, I didn't go out and shoot them because they were going on about trains. I went out and shot them because they were giving the answer to the question I just asked. Because the question was how many cars does train have? The map. Train. And Gumbo had no fucking idea. But Johnny Chestnut out there in the crowd kept fucking shouting the answer, so I spawned the minigun and I went out there and I, I resolved the issue. Put it like that. Wow, that lightning, that thunderclap was timed perfectly with the fart sound effect in Maxwell's song. You know what? I'm gonna put you in the break room. You will defend our home, my beautiful boy. If I had a hook, I would hang you from the ceiling, but I don't. Here, I'll put you on the arm. Perfect. Any other server would hate me for power tripping? Come on. It's Yum Yum's character. It's what he would do, okay? If half the stoners on the server can use that excuse, I can use it too for my stupid magic cookie. <laughs> <laughs>
Why can't I hear the rain inside now? Huh? Okay. Maybe it just picked up or something. Yeah, it must have just picked up. Certainly something. That's a hole. Or a map. Hey, alright. Looks like Goatsy. <laughs> oh, I should probably save that one, huh? I like the ones where there's a pick. Grandpa took a homo pick. Is that a SIG? You bet it is. I just don't own a lighter, so... I've been walking around with it in my mouth for three days. Oh yeah, the old potassium bucket, a classic. A recent strat I've been, I was made aware of by a suggestion from someone I was killing last night. Um, I want to rig a C4 to a door opening. Because I'm pretty sure I could do that. Put a C4 in a potted plant, rig it to a door right next to it, rig door status to explosion and then just wait. And then you're not even nearby when it happens. But there's no guarantee that you'll get the kill. Like there's no guarantee it'll be the right person opening the door. People always complain about bombing medbay, but it's like, bro, when I have a kill target for the CMO, what the fuck else am I gonna do? When I have a kill target for the CMO and I mute and pacify it, what am I going to do? <laughs> that shift was so fucked. It was an early morning low pop shift that was RSES. And we were getting so many fucking bros spawns. So many bros spawns. It was so bad I had to buy the uh, deployable turret that you can get as a Cindy. I had to buy the turret just to get bros off of me. Because my mind is a pacifist. I, I literally can't fight back against them. I have to either, like, close doors behind me to get them away from me, or put up the invisible wall. Or another thing I'll do is I'll open a locker and then position it so that I can shut the locker on the bros and trap them inside. Bros? Bros. Like, from Holly? You know bros? It's like bros. We added those, and they're a fucking menace, quite frankly. When bros come out of the vents... All hell breaks loose. Especially on a low pop shift, it's like multiple people are dying. See, I gave up on window cleaning? Absolutely. Yeah, see, there's a bros right there. What burst X posted? That's a bros. It's one of those. There's also green ones. Sorbs. 
They're not very nice. Because it'll spawn like 20 of them. They don't, their hits don't do a lot of damage, but it'll spawn like 20 of them. So you just have a whole cloud of these bastards murdering you in the halls. Fucking bros. I hear they're gonna rework engineering. Apparently that's something they have in the pipes. Another thing they were talking about was, for some reason, giving pocket AIs, like, an ability shop that then lets them buy a remote crew monitor console app? Why? Why do PAIs need to be a crew monitoring con- That's literally a fucking head of staff item. That is- that is the chief medical officer's fancy toy. Is a handheld crew vital monitor. Why do PAIs need that? You like PAI abilities? I fucking hate it. I don't think they need to be anything more than a voice in your pocket. That is literally like the whole purpose, like, done and dusted. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. No barrier for entry, no cost, and you're gonna give them, like, busted ass shit, like, head of staff pocket item abilities? Nah. No thanks. Veto. Veto. It don't need to be anything more than a voice in your pocket doing a bit. Could have sworn I heard something. Yeah, I should be able to buy things, but none of it's useful. Yeah, like if they could get like a music player app or like a sound effects app, like a soundboard. Sure, that stuff's fun. Fun and harmless. But something actually functional, like the CMO's handheld vitals console? No. That's way too far. They can have a map. They can have the ability to play uh, fucking songs. And they can have a soundboard. That's about it. Hey, I know that one. That's Jupiter. Not right? What do you know? What are you, like an astrophysicist or something? Huh? You even know what that word means? Because I sure don't. Cool hole. Maybe I need to go back to space school? Hell no, I'm never going back to school. Jesus Christ. I am not one for academics. I will watch videos about ancient cultures on YouTube, and that is my higher education. <laughs> That's all. Higher education, get it? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Have I considered getting a degree in communications? Uh, no. No, I have not. I have not considered getting any kind of degree. That shit cost money. That shit a pain in the ass. 
That shit cost money. Nah. What if I want to build my online brand? I am sufficiently horrible at that as I am now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't have it in me to be a grind set person. I just simply don't have it. I am incompatible with that shit. Damn, this one's downloading slow. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa. Uh, let's do... Calibration check? Okay. Some of them are in the 60s and 70s. Are any down? Lima's down. Is that it? Just the one? Just the one. Okay. You. Get to work. Go. Go. What? Go. Get to work. I love that sound effect. Only grinding you do is of this herb. Yeah, you get it. Maxwell's kind of loud. I think I'm gonna go shut him up. Buddy. Thank you. Don't like that, he's gonna explode. Peepee's kind of like that too. Peepee -pee really doesn't like being pet. She'll tolerate it for like like three seconds and then she immediately goes for the nibble she doesn't ever bite hard though it's just a get off me bro get off me bro wow fuck oh yo fumble be with the big two hey thanks hate that in order to resub you had to open twitch desktop yeah yeah they got rid of mobile subs didn't they because they wanted to get around like app store bullshit huh Man, gotta love it. Nah, she's not much of a kicker. She's a kicker if she's on the floor and you like, like put her, your foot on her belly, then she'll grab your foot and start kicking. I only ever do that with shoes on though because she's not very shy about using her claws. I do not like getting grabbed. Pippi also doesn't like being held. She'll tolerate it for like 10 seconds and then she starts going... She starts fucking grumbling. Peepee's so cute and she's so soft. I'm so sad that she doesn't like being held or being pet because the urge to pick her up and hold her and pet her every time I see her is so real. She's so cute. It's taking its sweet fucking time, huh? Jeez Louise. It's 
Susie isn't crazy about being held or pet either, and you just hang out with friends who have extremely friendly, cuddly dogs. Yeah. Yeah, one of Trog's cats, Midas, is like so friendly and loves being pet. Anytime we'd go over, he just like jumps up onto something and meows at us until we start patting his butt. He's one of those cats. His other cats were little scaredy cats though. They would just hide under the bed whenever we came over. I sure don't miss the uh, the heat and the uh, cost of living in Dallas, but I sure do miss living near the boys. It's surreal being able to just go over to the guy in group chat's house. <laughs> I've regaled this story a million times, but uh, one time, one summer, my AC went out, and it was it, it was like 98, 99 inside my apartment. So I went up to Wayne's place to crash, because my AC wasn't working and it was like unlivable in my apartment. And I go to his place and I, I throw open the fridge and there's just peepus. I throw open the fridge looking for a bev, and there's just a beautiful bowl of blue peepus. Wait, did I ever go do this? I think I did. Yeah, I did. We're good. I should get some drives ready. A bowl of peepus? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's in the, uh, the Spamton vid. The bowl of peepus. Do you seriously not know what Peepus is? I mean, I barely know what Peepus is either. I didn't play that game. To me, Spamton is like a guy my friends made up. Because <laughs> I didn't play the, the, the Undertale game that Spamton's actually in. Because he's not in part one of Delta Room, is he? I feel like I think I played part one, but I never played part two. So to me, Spamton is just a guy that my friends made up. Calibrate the dishes now that they're all fixed. Did I ever blunder my way into the bunker? Not in this save. In previous saves, I've been in there. But not this one. Just love seeing the reaction from other people, like the Japanese fandom calling Wayne spammed in Oji-san. Yeah. That shit's amazing. So good. That whole shebang was pretty crazy. What a big break. Mm -hmm. 
God damn it. Oh damn, it's like 6.30. I suppose I'll call it after this uh, in-game night. What day are we on anyways? 18? Huh. So nice of RTBS to help promote this small indie game dev. Yeah, we're kind of the best, so... Can hear stuff. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Okie doke, where's my battery? Battery charger 250, accumulator batteries. This adds up to 4 hundo. This will cost all of my points. But it will be worth it to just have constant access to a battery. I can just always have my flashlight on at all times and never feel bad for it because I'd just be able to charge the battery. I kind of want to go upstairs and get rid of this blue light. It's kind of bothering me. Turn this shit on. Really? You put it in there? Okay. This, this works. Fuck it, I'll just put it in there. And so is this open yet? No, that's not open yet. So then I wonder, can I even... Nah, cause it's in the vent. Sad. I still really like that event. Really clever usage of the lighting. Because from the inside, all the blue looks like... Your immediate assumption is, oh Jesus, there's a spaceship above the station with a blue light glowing down on it. But then you investigate and it's just a bunch of glow sticks laying around. The Shitter. Hello? I wasn't... Damn it. I guess I was waiting on the satellites to move. Whatever. No big. Nice. You've been pranked by aliens into thinking there were aliens? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's mostly just the, um... Wait, I'm, I just adjusted to this signal. Okay, okay. There's probably still stuff to clear out in my computer. Yup. It's just... Oops. Oh. Also, I don't care about that one. I already upgraded that, so I can just get rid of it. That's a level 3. I'm just going to clear all of these out, put them on drives, and then... queue them up for the signal processor. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's put you right here. God, they made these things so bulky. Not what I wanted to do. Beautiful game. Voices of the Void, my beloved. What a game. Okie doke. Oh, that was you. I thought that was my son. But my son's right there.
Yoink. Well, a bit of a backlog <clears throat> accrued. I can hear that mannequin walking outside. What's the deal with copying and processing all the old signals? Yeah, those, um... Those signals I never upgraded to level 3. They were still saved in the computer from when I only had access to, like, level 1 signals. And so if they were never upgraded to level 3, then that's just free points. That's why saving the signals is a good idea early on, so you can kind of bank a lot of extra money for yourself later on. By doing exactly what I'm doing here. Of course, some of them might be signals that I did already upgrade to level 3, and I could just be wasting my time on some of them, but most of them, I think, it's it's free real estate. It's free real estate. Though, Black Hole Tunes is gonna have to wait to last, because it's got a ridiculous file size, and it's gonna take forever. 2.3... Yeah, okay, the rest of these are chill, but these ones go last. Yep, that's some noise, all right. Thanks. Let me go get my battery. Eh? What? Well, that's new. Wh oh, I just hit my dick on the crate again. What the fuck? Bro? Bruh. Whoa, my frame rate. Holy shit. Really ate shit for a second there. Did it phase through the ceiling from the room above? Maybe. It's possible. Oh, no smoking. Do they hate me because I smoke? Because I pretend to smoke? Not even actually smoking, I'm just a poser. Oh, that's why they hate me. Buddy, you're gonna have to chill out with that. Okay, well... Thank you. Okay. Little guy, let's go put you in home base. In you go, little man. Wait, isn't there a... Yeah, there's one over here. Nice. Big. Aw, you have to actually do this. Sad. Well, there we have it. Ew. 
infinite flashlight battery will soon be mine. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Put the new signal onto the cart. Fuck it. Cart? Drive. I guess it's kind of a cartridge. Freudian slip saying cart instead of drive. You know I'm thinking about that Ranar weed. Wink. They kind of look like, um, English power outlets. Because as far as I'm aware, most of Europe uses the, the two dot ones. The English ones are the, the triangle like that. They're not? Am I stoned? They're tilted in a way that makes them not English. I see. Sorry, Toffee was being a little freak. She's digging at her water fountain. I don't know what her problem is with water. I think maybe she has bad teeth or something because she's getting old. Oh, English ones are, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 I remember. Mm. Yeah, you guys are saying English ones are like... This. But more uniform. Like that, rather than like this. I'm so smart. Whoa, hello. Damn it. Oh, I think I drank too much milk. I had like half the jug. Now I'm feeling the effects. Yeah, I think next sunrise is where we'll call it. Hit 99.9 .9 or 100. Come on. Nice. Okay, good enough. Good enough. That would kill you. Unfortunate. I love milk. The delicious, delicious cow water.
Who is that? What's going on? It tastes good, but it hurt. Sad. Yeah, see that one went for... Or no, wait. That one was a fresh signal that I just got. But these yellow ones should turn to proper signals. After I upgrade them. Boy, howdy, is that some sound? Oh. Oh, I am sleepy and hungry. Well, well, well. hear the mannequins outside playing. What's happened so far? Yeah, and an alien dropped through that vent, threw the vent at my head, and then walked up on me and punched me in the head and I died. It was extremely out of pocket. I don't know why it did that. Like, maybe I haven't been leaving them enough shrimp? Speak of the devil. Let's just leave them an offering. Cause seriously, man, what the fuck? Rude. All right, no, neither of these are going anywhere. It's Betty by time. And hopefully, nothing crazy interrupts my sleep smile. Please and thank you. Is that more trash out front, bro? They also dumped a bunch of trash on my front door. Come on. Oh, did you see that mannequin just appear in the bottom left? <laughs> Little shit, I see you. And now you can't see it because the fog is gone. Two-year-olds when they tr get to try pureed peas. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I'll give it up. Tell you what, I'll go check on the uh, picnic aliens, see if they've finished there treehouse yet a whole night with no crazy happenings and no nightmares awesome oh! dry off in my mouth it's that bastard again don't throw the Look, take it. Take the shrimps. Look, take, take, take the, take the shrimps, please. Oh, they took them, and now they're gonna throw the fucking packaging at me. What's your problem? Bro. <laughs> they gone? Did they leave? Okay, I think they're gone now. Bro. Seriously, seriously out of pocket. <sighs> Automod held a message for reason sex space terms highlighted phrase bend you over. Yeah, it did kind of bend me over the table there for a bit. It did kind of do that. I will confirm.
Well, at least they didn't kill me this time, because last time it fucking domed me right in the noggin and I fucking perished. Oh! God damn. The hell did I do to make them hate me so much? I don't know. They're usually not so aggro. They threw my diploma at me. <laughs> True. Okay, okay. Let me go check in on my picnic friends that fucking hate me. I did try to steal the lamp. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's why they hate me so much and threw my fucking garbage can at me. To be fair, I did put the garbage can there to try and make them land in it. Oh, wind again? Is it the guys with their legs sticking out? Nope, the pick's different. Well, into the rack you go. You're next, and what's my task today? Whiskey, Foxtrot, Kilo. I don't rightly remember where their little camping spot is, but I'll find it as soon as I go outside. Dude. Come on. Come on now. Oh, where's my light? Hang on. Oh. Hey, fellas. Wish they would chill a little with the schmoovin. I keep expecting there to be something buried in these. A little a treat as sorry for dumping a bunch of garbage in front of my doors, but nope. Not particularly. Maybe it's because I haven't cleaned up all the garbage out here. Maybe it's like specifically reacting to the fact that I haven't cleaned up very well. Damn, he was busting it down for a second there. Okay, that way is where we're going. I saw you, fucker. Thinks he's slick. Damn, I really hate how good of a view you have of the room from way out here. Really makes you feel exposed. Yeah, I'm gonna come check on my pals, and then, uh... And then call it a night. <sighs> Cause it's goddamn 7am. Probably cycle that, uh, whoa. Oh. I saw that blue and I was like, whoa, did they leave blue glow sticks over there too? Nah. Just the porta potty. The non functional porta potty or porta potty might I add. Oh, their little uh treehouse is almost done. I think it has a roof when it's done. Oh, also the beds aren't inside. Hey now. 
Listen. Listen, it's chill. We're chill. Look, here, here. Take the shrimp. We're chill, dude. We're chill. We're chill. We're chill. How am I gonna get out of here now? <laughs> okay, okay. Could check your rep in the console if you wanted. Hey, no spoilers, stoner. I'm not a wiki diver. I don't like to know everything about video games. Oh, fuck. It's still coming. Can we chill, dude? What have I done to you? What have I done? <laughs> Minus rep touched box. <laughs> High metal. Yeah, you could say that. These guys have been beating my ass consistently and constantly. I think they hate me this playthrough. I punched me clean out of the air. Damn. I didn't try to steal their shit. I was just touching. Just touching. Who you call him puntable? I have their children's toy on my desk. <laughs> Yeah, you know, fair enough. They fucking hate me, bro. What the hell? Dumping trash in front of my door. Beating me up, throwing stuff at me. They fucking hate me. Oh, just crickets. Okay, never mind. Okie doke. It's 7 a.m. I think it's bedtime. I think it's bedtime. Thanks for hanging out, stoners. It's high time I passed the fuck out. So I'm sending you directly to you know where. Here you go. Oh, anything crazy planned for next week? Uh, not that I can remember. I don't think anything nuts is on the docket. Just expect more of the same old, same old. All right, stoners. Fare thee well. Goodbye.